So I'm Josh Gosnell, the owner of Red's Fabrication and Custom Painting in Medford, Oregon. I come from a long line of car guys, gearheads, you know, with my family. I've just always liked cars, so then I started painting and learning on, you know, through doing my own work and it has progressed into working for myself and starting a shop and, and, and that whole like self-promotion, I guess you would call it. <laughs> Well, it's a 67 Mustang with a 2017 supercharged Coyote backed by a six-speed transmission, pushing about 700 horse. The JC Customs valve covers, a hand-built overflow tank for the supercharger, Be Cool radiator. Hose Candy sent us all the hose coverings for it, which really looks a lot better than just a black hose in there. So to get the hood to close with the supercharger because it sticks up so much, we had to raise the hood up. These are our vents to get rid of some of that air that travels through there from the big hole in the hood. The whole air comes in here and comes kind of removes some of the heat out of the engine compartment. The, the front end is hand built. We wanted to, to give it more of a modern feel with the front bumper and kind of get away from the older 67 look. This is a handmade shell with a handmade grill. This piece was made in the front bumper. The tires are 22 by 12s in the rear and 19 by 8s in the front. They're custom built Asante wheels. We called them up with the offset that we needed and how wide we wanted them and they custom built the wheels to our specs. Okay so we went with uh, more modern. These are Ring Brothers billet door handles. It's got a billet mirrors. So to keep the 67 Mustang feel we went with Dakota digital sweeping gauges. This is a billet specialties half wrap steering wheel. That we wrapped in the brown leather, same as we used to accent the rest of the interior. So we wanted to keep the iconic look of a 67 Mustang, known for their three taillights in the rear. So we called up Hagen Street Rods. They actually built the taillights and the panels for this car. And they're as smooth as the paint straight across. The paint is Glazerit Single Stage 22 line. We went with that red just because it was the brightest, most vibrant red that we could find. We wanted to draw as much attention to the car as we, as we could. We wanted the trunk to match the rest of the car, so we went with the same carpet and same leather we did throughout the whole cab of the car. My first SEMA show was 2017. If a small guy wants to be able to take a car there, show it, and show off their skill set, then yeah, absolutely, that's a great place. Awesome foundation to start. And you, know, you get from the beginner all the way up to the big, big guys. So it really is something for everybody. 